So far, SpaceX has never failed in surprising us. Let us look today at what new major improvements they will make in their new Starship. Hello people, and welcome back for another video on our favorite SpaceX journey. Before we begin, if you are new here, we welcome you to our channel. Also, like and subscribe so you never miss out on an update. For a better understanding of the concept, let's start with the evolution of the rockets. In the three years since Musk initially revealed the Starship concept to the world in September 2016 at the International Astronautical Union Convention in Mexico, SpaceX's Starship design has undergone a kind of rocket evolution. Musk announced the Interplanetary Transport System, or ITS, for Mars colonization during that summit. The ITS proposed a fully reusable spaceship with two fins and rocket that would tower 400 feet, 122 meters tall when built. Its first stage would include 42 Raptor engines of the next generation, and the booster would be 40 feet, 12 meters broad. The spaceship would be outfitted with nine Raptors. However, the first stage of the Falcon Heavy has 27 Merlins. In 2018, Musk showed yet another design and the Starship name, a sleek stainless steel spacecraft with three tail fins that would be 387 feet taller than its 2017 predecessor. Six Raptor engines would still power the ship with up to 37 Raptors powering the rocket, now called Super Heavy. Musk described the switch to 301 stainless steel from a lightweight but pricey carbon fiber composite material as a watershed moment. The steel becomes stronger as it cools. It also has a greater melting point, which makes it more durable during the explosive re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. It's also far less expensive, costing around 2% of the price of carbon fiber, he added. This newest concept has remained unchanged to the present day. SpaceX is still aiming for a 387 foot tall Starship Super Heavy stack with six Raptors on board. The number of engines on Super Heavy may vary from flight to flight. Musk stated that the rocket can hold up to 37 Raptors, with each mission likely requiring at least 24. Starship will allow humankind to occupy other worlds, Musk tweeted on Friday 27th of September, to extend life as we know to other planets. This is going to sound completely insane, Musk added, but I think we want to aim to reach orbit in less than six months. As long as the rate of design and manufacturing innovation remains exponential, I believe that it is true to within a few months. While Musk and SpaceX have been praised for their ambitious push to build a starship capable of deep space travel, the road has not always been easy. As the business stepped up tests with a smaller rocket Starhopper, there were frequent road closures, launch hazard conditions, and other program side effects. Then, there are SpaceX's other clients to consider. NASA is still waiting on SpaceX to finish the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which will launch humans to and from the International Space Station. SpaceX, together with other business, Boeing, has been chosen by NASA to undertake commercial crew missions to the station. While SpaceX did launch an unpiloted Crew Dragon test trip to the space station earlier this year, a subsequent abort system test failed, resulting in the vehicle's destruction. SpaceX intends to continue abort system testing later this year, in advance of the first crewed test mission. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine appears to be dissatisfied with the years-long delays of the Crew Dragon and Boeing Starliner spacecraft, especially after watching SpaceX build Starship Mach 1 earlier this year, ahead of its own test flight. This was a little recap of what till now SpaceX has been. Now, if we speak of obstacles, the question pops up in the mind on what improvements SpaceX has made. Musk identified four important items that SpaceX hopes to finish before launching Starship 20. He stated that SpaceX must install the ship's final heat shield tiles, provide thermal protection to the Raptor rocket engines in Booster 4, finish work on ground propellant storage tanks, and put a rapid disconnect arm to the top of the freshly erected launch tower. The details of Musk's idea are limited but it appears to include the use of the Starship's protective covering. The ship, which was first revealed in 2017, is a reusable rocket capable of transporting up to 100 passengers at a time. It will replace existing rockets such as the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy for satellite launches, while also enabling more ambitious missions such as a crew trip to Mars. Musk demonstrated during the presentation 
that the payload area will have a pressurized volume of 825 cubic meters in its crew configuration, which is larger than an Airbus A380 airplane. In summary, Starship may be capable of catching trash. Instead of cherries and ghosts, Musk likens the spacecraft to a huge Pac-Man zipping about in orbit and eating up satellites. Assuming all goes as planned, SpaceX has great plans for its new rocket. A crude journey around the moon with Japanese entrepreneur Yusaku Maezawa is planned for 2023, while Musk hopes to build a full-fledged city on Mars by 2050. This is not the first time SpaceX has proposed using the Starship to clean up space. In an interview with Time in October 2020, company president Gwyn Shotwell stated, It's entirely plausible that we might use Starship to travel and visit some of these dead rocket carcasses. Other people's rockets, of course. Basically, go pick up some of the debris in outer space. Improving the durability of the Starship to survive the intense process of re-entering the Earth's atmosphere is an important part of making it fully reusable. SpaceX's solution to this problem is small hexagonal heat shield tiles. Musk stated that construction on the tiles for Starship 20 is around 98% complete, as the remaining tiles are unusual shapes requiring machining. Also, NASA has been keeping a close eye on Starship's progress, especially since the US Space Agency earlier this year awarded SpaceX a contentious $2.9 billion contract to send astronauts to the moon's surface using the rockets. NASA's chief official for science missions, Thomas Zurbichen, told CNBC that he is keeping an eye on the Starship's development. So far, we have seen a lot of improvements, and we hope for the best in the upcoming time period. So that is what we have for you today. If you like this, make sure to like this video and hit the bell icon for more upcoming updates. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe.